24 interesting minutes here at Oracle Arena in game four in a 2-1 series. Golden State leading the series but trailing the game and they've only done that twice trailed at the half in the course of their 16 game postseason winning streak. back here we go. Yeah. That's my high school Chile run. Oh, I love that. That was my high school run. Don't be the clever retire. Oh, it ain't much. Hello, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. American Express Halftime Report. Shaquille O'Neal, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley. This game was 12 0. Houston did not score its first field goal, Chuckster, until what? 7.05 to go in the first quarter. And suddenly, this thing has totally turned around. Well, first of all, you got to give a shout to Eric Gordon. He's the guy who got the Rockets go going. He got when they were struggling. He got them going. Then James and Chris picked it up. The Warriors have not shot the ball well. They really look a lack of days ago offensively. But shout out to Eric Gordon for coming out, getting these Rockets back in the game. And then James was fantastic and Chris. But you listen. They got the lead. This is a must win. Great first half by the Rockets. American Express teammates, you talk about James Harden and Chris Paul, and they're the guys we spotlight on the teammates, and Harden with 24 first half points. Chris Paul has 14 after going scoreless on 0 of 3 shooting in the first quarter. Golden State, meantime, scoring just 18 points in the second quarter, and Clay Thompson a little dinged up and no Andre Iguodala in this game. Steph Curry's got three fouls. But uh, Houston, you've seen the good and the bad, Kenny, in the first half. Some of the ugly, too. You know, I, overall, you know, I didn't think they actually were mentally ready to play. And mentally ready to play, you could just tell by plays like this. When the ball swings out, you get the shot by Gordon. All right, you get a steal. James Harden has a wide open three. You're not going to get a better shot than this ever if you're James Harden. But that's just mentally being engaged in the game. Yeah. He wasn't there early. Again, late on the shot clock, and instead of just going, dribbling, and trying to find the basketball rhythm, now you're in the nine seconds, and the shot clock guys can come over because you're coming going late. But once he found the rhythm, here we have freeze it here. It's 18 seconds on the shot clock. Guys have to find their man first before they find you. So James now has the ability to get to the rim, and then he can punch it in. Smile. Because oh. he went in early oh. in the shot clock, and it doesn't allow the defense to hone in on you and lock in on you. Because in the early part of the shot clock, everyone has to locate who they're guarding first. What jumped out at you in the first half on well, Houston's side? The Rockets three-point shooting again. You have to keep guys involved. Guys are playing well. Uh, Eric Gordon, like Chuck said, right here, James Harden gives it to a guy, let another guy touch and shoot. Now, when you're the main scorer, of course you can always get your shot. But sometimes what Chuck knows is you have to use your talent to get other people involved. Because yes. you're not going to win this by yourself. You're definitely going to need your other guy to step up. You're going to need the others to step up. Right here, Chris Paul is the two of the one-two punch. Rock is playing well. When they got down to 12 points, they didn't panic. They're playing well. But... Golden State is, is known for coming out in this third quarter and, you know, putting up some big numbers. Arnie, you know, you go think, ahead. The thing they got to do more than anything, which, the reason you get into the shot clock early is because when your first option don't work, you don't, you don't have to take a Hail Mary. And it's, it's great if it goes in. Chris and James got to attack, attack, attack with 15 to 20 seconds to go. Like I said, then if you don't get your shot, you can go do that Hail Mary stuff later. But start, speed the game up. The Rockets played fantastic. Bad thing is the Warriors did not play well. And and Clay Thompson, as David Aldridge reported, left knee strain in the first uh, in the first half. It came in the second quarter, and it appeared after he came back from this. I know he hit a couple of shots, Kenny, but it, but he looked off and looked out of sync when he did come back in in the game later in the second quarter. Yeah, either left string, knee strain, or a good oh, block by like Well, I, I think overall, just Clay Thompson has never found the rhythm of the of the series yet. Uh, he's played okay at best. Um, his ability to shoot the basketball has been tested. I think they they're making him put it on the floor, and that is something that he's going to have to do in this series. The one two dribble pull up if he wants to be effective. Kevin Durant has 15 points to lead Golden State. He's at five out of 14. Under 40% shooting for the Warriors, who jumped out to a 12 0 lead, but find themselves trailing 53 46. 
at the break. And um, we get this tweet. I wish Chuck Shack yet got their mics. I'm trying to hear Sheila Eating burn it up. Yeah. Without sorry, question. Sorry, we had a job to do. No, oh my Whoa. God. Stop. Boy. Stop. I'm in high school all over again. <laughs> I, had, I had my big, I had my best look, moment, look, Shaq. Look. I see that before the game. She said, "Hey, Kenny, let's take a picture." I was like, "She knows my name." Oh, I was like, "Oh no, my she didn't know goodness!" Your name. She didn't know you, Chuck. Knock it off. She said, "Who's the heavy guy with you?"